right now you have this unlimited power inside of you, right? And it's like waiting to be tapped into. You need to activate it. And when you activate it, ah, you turn on this polarity and this polarity pulls things closer to you. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode on this channel and in today's episode this is going to be one of those Brian Mark days where it's back to back to back to back. I'm going to do some a little bit of morning zen before it all goes down so sit back relax enjoy the episode. Let's go. Yo, what is going on, online fitness coaches? Hope you guys are having the best day of your entire life. I wanna share a podcast with you guys that I recorded the other day titled Three Mistakes to Fix If You're Not Booking Enough Sales Calls. I think you guys are gonna get a ton of value. Shows you exactly what to focus on. Tap here, let's go. Bro, I'm gonna go off on rest today. What's the topic on? Today it's gonna be on being a button pusher. And I'm gonna go in. I'm going in with some mother today. All right, fam, so we're gonna make some coffee, and we got meetings back and back and back and back. I don't know about you guys, but I had about enough cold water so that I can drink it right away. Cause I don't like it, I don't like it too hot. All right, y'all, so I'm going to sit down now and do 20 minutes of mastermind work and then get ready for my next call. So, rise was good, it's time to execute. I took a different approach to my TikTok, I wanna show you guys. So I've got this new TikTok, and on the new TikTok, I committed that I'm gonna, I'm gonna worry a lot less about the views and I'm gonna worry a lot more about the message. Like, what do I actually wanna say, you know? So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm actually gonna say. So yesterday I made a minute and a half long TikTok talking about my success, so I'm gonna make a new one today. So I'm not even worried about how long the video is. I'm just like, I wanna give value, right? Rewarded in public for what they practice in private. And we're talking about all the boring stuff, you know, like the meditation, the gratitude, the visualizations, the affirmation. All of these things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis behind the scenes is what leads to our success in front of other people. But most people don't see that. They only see the car, the house, the material things but it's the hours and hours and hours of practice that lead to the success. It's putting in the work when everybody else is sleeping. It's staying in on the weekends when everybody else goes out. It's making the commitment to study when you wanna to go to sleep or when you wanna watch Netflix. My question for you is, what are you doing when no one is watching? Boom. You like that? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I posted this YouTube the other day. You watch this YouTube, right? Yeah. Best video it's yet. It's yeah, yeah, this one. Check his comments. I love that shit. You either go work for it! So, I got Jack to start posting my TikToks on YouTube Shorts, and I got a comment on one of them that was like, damn, this video summed up my thoughts tonight. I'm not 50, but I need to f***ing change my game. I'll take this as a sign. Take my sub, bro. Thanks. So, I'm just gonna reply right now. All right. Ooh. So, okay, so team, my game plan <laughs> is I've got a team meeting with Britsy in a couple minutes, and I don't exactly know what we're gonna be talking about today, but we're gonna make sure that Britsy's up and running as she's all taking care of all the projects. Then I've got company-wide team meeting, kickoff call, and there's, there's like back to back. There's like, come look at my schedule. There's company-wide team meeting, kickoff call, podcast, conversations with B, PTL marketing catch up. I'm also gonna go pick her stuff from Elite Auto. And then I've got my monthly finance meeting at two. And then I've got walk through supplement world at four. And then I'm done. So I'm gonna send out a text to everybody that I need to connect with, mainly Bob. I'm just gonna send out a confirmation text for finance. Sending out our Zoom link for our company-wide team meeting right now. And Cole and I are gonna be discussing core values.
So thank you so much for everyone that showed up for your company wide team meeting. We appreciate you guys. And today we're gonna be talking about our business's core values. Now, obviously with the business, like we've been going through a lot of like growing phases in the last year. We're super happy to say that the last month was probably one of the most successful months that we've had in terms of student results in a very long time. Yes, it was. We had eight students that crossed $10,000 a month. So everybody give yourself a pat on the back. Y'all bad I motherfuckers. Know. All the operations team. Shit, man, you guys put all the f***ing event together. You guys put all the virtual event together. Helped us plan the coaches retreat. Give yourself a pat on the back, y'all. Some bad motherfuckers. All right, so guys, we've had some growing phases in the last uh, in the last year. It's like not only am I going to do my very f***ing best, but I'm also going to go the extra inch. I'm also going to do that one extra thing. I'm also going to push just a little bit harder. Just go for a little bit longer. Just reach out to one more person. That to me is the definition of. F Relentless. And the truth is, I think, like Cole said, a lot of people have the mentality of like punch in, punch out. And like, guys, like I've, I've talked about this before. Like, I know that some of you guys aren't going to be with us forever. And some of you guys are going to go on and start your own businesses and do your own thing, etc. But I'm going to be honest with you. If you can't go all in while you're here, you're not going to go all in for your own business. And you're just going to fail miserably. So unless you develop the character trait of like going all in for every minute of everything that you do, then that character trait is going to trickle into everything that you do. Right now, you have this unlimited power inside of you, right? And it's like waiting to be tapped into. And when you activate this unlimited power, I believe that what happens is boom, the universe starts to like, oh shit, Kevin Boo's awake, here's some more abundance. Oh shit, B Mark's the one, here you go. But before that happens, you need to activate it. And when you activate it, ah, you turn on this polarity and this polarity pulls things closer to you. So I want everybody to stand the f up. Everybody stand the f up. Let's go. I want everybody to stand the f up. Unmute your mother selves and we're going to do some repeat after me. Cecilia, stand up. I see and to Sharon, I said stand the f up. Daddy. Woo. Daddy, I want to see it. Unmute yourselves. Let's go. Jose, stand up. Janelle, you're the only exception because your back is Other than that, stand the up. If you're in your car, listen, I want you guys to repeat after me. Ah. I am loyal to the vision. I am loyal, I am loyal to, the to the vision. Say it like you mean it. Say it like you got some hair on your chest. I am loyal to the vision. I'm loyal to the vision. I do what the fuck I say I'm gonna do. I do what the fuck I say I'm gonna do. I am relentless as I stand up for what I believe in. I stand up for what I believe in. I will fight for my freedom. I'm the motherfucking one. I'm the motherfucking one. All right, y'all, so just had company-wide team meeting. It was super good. Now, I'm gonna roll on to my kickoff call that I've got with a bunch of my new little online trainers. And uh, I've got something funny to tell you guys. Okay, Jax, stay exactly where you are. Don't move. Don't move. Just release your hands. Just release your hands. Don't move, though. Don't move your entire body. Just release your hands. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Recording me like this. You trying to make your traps look bigger, dog? Bro, I'm trying to get those kangaroo traps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sh so we got, uh, we got, <laughs> we got a kickoff call with our clients. Let's get it. My name is Brian Mark, and um, it's likely that you came from my account, and I just want to say I'm super excited to have you guys here. I've been an online coach since 2013, so I started back before online coaching was cool, before it was a thing. Um, back when I started, uh, it was pretty easy for me to get to $10,000 a month. It was hard work, but it was easy. You know, I'd post a picture of my abs, and I'd get a lot of inquiries. Um, obviously, since that time back, you know, nine years ago, like a lot has changed. And, you know, throughout my coaching career, I had to learn different methods on like, you know, how to attract new clients, how to convert clients, how to deliver an amazing service. Like, because just posting a picture of my abs wasn't working as I started getting more coaches on the market. So I grew my business to $54,000 a month in 2018. At that point, I realized that I was no longer passionate about coaching, um, you know, teaching fitness anymore. I wanted to coach more on the business side. So I started coaching at PT Domination. With, if you're working with 1,400 students right now, why is only, you know, why are only 240 of them over 10K a month? And the truth is because some people don't give it their all. 
You know, some people come into the program expected to be easy. Some people come into the program and aren't willing to put in the work. And so this, this kickoff call is to remind you that out of every 10 people that sign up, two people quit. Boy, Daniel, my man, one of the Million Dollar Mastermind students now, recent graduate of the Academy and recent student to hit 10K. Brother, what the f is good? How are you, bro? Doing good, homie. I'm stoked to be here, honestly. Like I just told you, this is one of my goals literally since the day I joined the Academy. So it feels good, bro. It's been like just about a year since I joined too. So coming full circle. Hardworking, you're committed, you're coachable, you execute, you show up for yourself, and I'm, I'm excited to have you here, bro. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying my best. What can I say? Let's let's get into it. Let's change some lives, shall we? Absolutely. I'm gonna take you all the way back to the third grade, um, because in the third grade, I was quote unquote diagnosed with ADHD and really poor reading and writing comprehension. And I was given the laptop. I was the only kid in the school or like in that grade with the laptop because of my really shitty um, learning abilities. So ever since I was a kid, I was like the odd one out, um, and honestly, just didn't feel like I fit in anywhere. And since that day, I accepted like that reality as my fate. I'm always going to be a bad learner. I'm always going to be a bad student. And I'm never going to be truly great in there, anything because I'm, I'm limited, right? Hmm. So that's kind of like where my story started. In your own coaching business, because you don't believe in yourself, you're literally teaching your clients how to not believe in themselves. Straight the fuck up because your lack of belief in yourself, you're passing that on to every single individual that joins your program because you're mentoring them. You have limitations and you're passing those limitations along to the people that are in your program. That sucks. And so when you become the type of mother that believes in yourself so much that other people can borrow belief from you, you become unstoppable because now, guess what? Like, yes, I believe in myself so much that when other people come to my program, I'm like, you got this. I believe in you. I believe in you so much because I believe in myself so much. And now Daniel is like, oh, shit. he borrowed my belief, but now he believes in himself. And guess what? Now Daniel has the opportunity to go out into the world and to give fitness clients that are struggling with seeing themselves losing weight the belief that it's possible that they can. And because fitness clients believe that it's possible that they could lose weight with Daniel, well, they're signing up with them and they're paying in full because they believe that Daniel's gonna have the solution to their problem. I've never <laughs> felt this energy in my life. And that is so compelling. If you can do the same thing in your live streams, in your content, people are gonna feel that exact same way. I love that. This podcast has made my entire day. I want you to know that. Mark Daniel, thank you so much, dog. I'm so proud of you, man. That was, uh, yeah, I was not shocked, but you delivered a lot of value. And, uh, and I took a lot of value from that. So thank you, bro. That was fucking fire. So we're jumping onto the Million Dollar Mastermind call. Bunch of changing lives. Let's get it. All right, so Million Dollar Mastermind Conversations with B is what the call is called. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna deep dive into people's businesses. We're gonna figure out where they're at and we're gonna give them the breakdown to figure out the next step. So it's gonna be fun. Fuck, say it again. 50K. Yeah. Like five zero point eight. I don't know. I, I just don't understand how this is my life, honestly. I'm confused, but it's cool. Well, my goal for this month was 20K. It was going to be my highest month ever. I put it out there and I kind of um, made 31K. Boom. That feels good. aren't super busy but you have some leads then I would hire an opener and a closer to generate more leads I would literally have an opener whose job is to follow comment engage send messages and like start conversations and they would start in the morning and then the closer would start in the afternoon and they would continue and close those conversations but if you're somebody like Caitlin Wilson who has traction on Facebook and Instagram and is super busy I think it's better to train one VA to do all of it when you're training your VAs, you're not only trying to help them overcome objections, but you're also teaching them why you're saying certain things. This is why I said this. If you scroll back in the conversation, they said this. And so the reason that I position it like this in this objection is X, Y, Z. So you really want to explain why you're doing everything, not just teaching them like 
well, you know, not just giving them a fish, like I'm gonna help you overcome the objection, but teaching them how to fish and like this is exactly why we're overcoming the objection this way so that eventually they can become self-sustained. So facilitate that, right? Like create that culture in that community and let people know like, you know, this community has your back. We can got you. You gotta make the community so valuable that they can't imagine themselves without it. And so, Clayton, if their entire life is in chaos, then they come to this community to feel that sense of security and safety, you feel me? You've gotta create yeah. that inside of your community. And if you're doing that, you're gonna have clients that will stick around forever. All right, you guys, so we literally just finished up my coaching call. It was two hours long, and we're rolling right into the next one, which is my ads meeting. So, that is like a typical B Mark day. When I say I have B Mark days, that's exactly what it means. The CEO shit, baby. Back to back to back meetings. That's what the f it takes. Everybody wants to be successful, but when it comes down to putting in the work, they can't seem to find the time. They can't seem to, you know, figure out the space in which they're gonna be able to fit all the things that they need to get done. Guys, it's about making it happen. I literally have been on a meeting from 8 a.m. until it's 1.30. And I'm gonna take a 30 minute break, go pick up my wife and be a good husband, and then I'm gonna get on another meeting. And then I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna another meeting, because that's what the it takes sometimes. When you're trying to build an empire, you gotta understand that you're gonna have to grind, you're gonna have to put in the work. Let's go, fam, let's get it. All right, so just did a bunch of coaching calls. Now I wanna keep my social media active. So I'm gonna take a video from my socials and I'm gonna post it online. You're weak, you're insecure, you're overweight. I hate the way that you look. We wouldn't talk to our friends the way that we talk to ourselves. And yet every single day inside of our minds, we wake up and we have conversations with ourselves that don't allow us to realize our full potential. All right? We've been fed lies for long enough and too many people believe it. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. That's the truth. Let's go. That's a good video. So now I'm gonna paste it. And I paste it all over the place. So this is my little process. So I add my video, download, saves, and then I post it. Done. Making sure it's uploads to the story. Once it uploads to the story, we Gucci fam. House, bro. We found your future house. Take a picture of that, Santa. If it's rude, I'm egging your house right now. Uh, no, we found a picture of your future house. I'm just letting you know. It's not rude. It's just facts. <laughs> Right, it was. Oh, yeah, I'm the one. Yeah, shit. <laughs> with me. You want to say that again? One more time. This was the highest month of the year in revenue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right. But even better, <laughs> even better than that. So brace yourself. Don't get yourself in an accident here. But um, because of all the cuts that you guys had, you doubled your profit. That's yeah. what the f I'm ah! talking about. Suck it, Ronnie. Suck it, Ronnie. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it's called being a business owner. I run a business. Shit. There we go. Yes. That brings us to the end of today's YouTube episode. You guys got to watch behind the scenes of like, I call these Brian Mark days, back to back to back to back to back. And so the piece of actionable value I'm gonna give you guys today is that on the days that you're the most tired is when you need to go the hardest. Like I find that a lot of people like to take relaxation and take rest and take breaks. And don't get me wrong, I did sleep in this morning and I did you know purposely recover my energy, but then I was tired today and I was like, I'm going all in. Like today's the day that I'm like going above and beyond. And so it really is just making the decision that the days that are the hardest and the days that you are feeling challenged are the days that you go all in. So 
Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you got some value. Like this video, comment below, tell a friend about this channel, and chase your dreams. Let's go.